So this is cold stone which has been painted over several times throughout its history. The cold stone is very robust material so with the restorative technique we'll be simply cleaning it. We've got Neptune's face and head. Um, this is after we've cleaned it so as you can see quite good on the cleaning. There are some minor repairs that we need to do which we're going to, uh, we're going to approach once the scaffold is down. One of the coronets on the crown has broken but apart from that it's in fantastic condition. Around the building we're finding all these lovely um, these uh, dado rails that have been clogged up with paint so we suspected that this was cold stone so what we've done we applied a process of stripping back the paint using a chemical um, any kind of mechanical stripping would have done any done damage to the delicate fabric beneath so we applied a, um, a paint stripper um, which is pasted over the, um, the surface of the paint and then it's covered with a with a with a with a covering to, to trap the chemical on the surface so it does its work, it doesn't evaporate off. This this is the paint after the first application. And the second application you can see the detail of the moulding that's been clogged up with these layer upon layer of paint. There could there could be eight or nine layers of paint on there. So it's quite a slow process, but um, the rewards are, are fantastic really because if you have a look at the detail it's really really intricate which is the uh, a great quality of uh, cold stone because you can get these fine impressions and mouldings so we're going to set a process round where we're going to reveal all this throughout the building the cornices are, have, are again have been heavily painted uh, with not much care and, care and attention it's just layer upon layer of paint so the same process again we're going to um, apply the paint stripper, it bites into the surfaces and then 24 hours later we'll reveal it. Uh, it takes the bulk of the material off and then it's a case of going along with a fine picking tool and picking out all the detail and um, revealing the real, the detail underneath. So there's a lot of man hours in the careful unpicking of what, 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 what's underneath. Again we're going to go right through the building to reveal it all. There's a lovely palm leaf in this, this up here and uh, a, a nice fluted soffit as well, so a little bit of effort and again the rewards are, are fantastic, they really are. You know, can't wait to see it all revealed. This room is gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be brilliant.